huge shout out to David Moss over at MGS for bringing the Orbeez out to us to let us play with it. Here we're going to go ahead and go over our first impressions about it, what we think about it, compared to some of the other mobile scanners on the market. I'm not going to bore you too much with this intro, so let's just get right to it. <clears throat> so at first glance, it looks like they just put some blue, blue and black paint on the Zen Horizon and ship it out the door. But in the reality, they've completely revamped the product. They've changed out the Validine sensor for the Hasai sensor. And with that, they went from 16 channels to 32 channels. They went from 300, 300,000 points a second to 640,000 points a second. And you can see the difference when you're, when you're uh, looking at the data. Uh, it's been a big jump up, a new algorithm. The uh, Zcam is now permanently attached. It's no longer an add-on, which is nice. Uh, the, the cable itself is all in one, so you don't have to do two separate cables, which is just the small things in this world, you know. So along with the updated algorithm brings what they call hybrid reality capture. Uh, what they mean by that is uh, you can do the mobile scan, but you can also do a, it's not a full terrestrial scan, but a stationary scan. With the, uh, with the, with the stationary scan, you get 2 millimeter accuracy. With the mobile, you get 5 millimeter accuracy. It's IP54, you can use indoors and outdoors. Just be careful that the sensor is, is covered, but it doesn't spin as fast as, uh, say, a terrestrial scanner, so it's not gonna repel rain like the RTC does. Uh, but, I mean, when you can walk with a mobile scanner, you have the opportunity to wait out the clouds, get in between them. Uh, I do it all the time with the regular scanner, but this one would be just that much easier. You have the standalone option, you can just push a button on it and go. The, uh, there's also an app. It's pretty basic at this point, but I imagine they'll be adding more features as it goes along. The scanner is very versatile in its usage. It can be used upright, sideways, upside down. Um, just, I mean, best practices aren't to just walk around waving it like a magic wand. The entire theory behind mobile devices is portability and speed. As far as the Orbeez goes, I put it right in between the VLK to go and the VLX. It's not a big honking case like the VLX that you probably have to ship ahead of you, uh, but it's not something that you can fit in your backpack like the VLK to go. It's a, it's a briefcase size uh, case, and it could probably go overhead. I haven't checked the exact dimensions on that, um, but you can take it with you is, is the main key. So it's, it's definitely a sweet spot. Speed aspect of it it does take a little more setup i would put it again in between the vlx and the blk the blk to go you just put the stand down and go right it's apt to its name the vlx you have to get it out of the case and pop it up and get the things all set up it's it's, it's similar it's probably closer to the vlx as far as setup time the cables you have to connect to the data logger that you wear and then the monopod so there is a little bit of setup that takes away from some of your speed but once it's all together, it's, it's rocking and rolling. Here's the one we all care about, data quality. Now I didn't test much on accuracy because here in February uh, with the USIBD, we're gonna test this against a bunch of other scanners. So we're gonna leave the, the targeted test for February. Uh, this was just more getting familiar with it and taking a look at the data. I am really happy with the data. Now we've had a little glitch where we can't necessarily export the, the flash scans with the mobile scan, but even just the mobile scan by itself is, is I would put it ahead of the pack. The VLK to go is very, very stringy. And the VLX, when I brought it into 3DR and put the point size all the way down and danced it all the way up, it had been so decimated by their process that I couldn't even tell what I was looking at. Uh, this, this data from the Orbeez was beautiful in the Connect app, it was beautiful in 3DR, it didn't disintegrate at all, taking it into another software. I'm sure some of you may have noticed all the fog that was out there that day, in combination with some areas that really had little to no geometry. I fully expected this scanner to fail on its trajectory calculations, but it didn't. It held it held tight. It's a solid instrument. Pharaoh has hit another home run with this one. Uh, I can't say enough about the, the quality of the data for a mobile scanner. Um, we'll know more in February again when the USIBD and I um, do the scanner shootout. 
and we can compare the data sets better under controlled uh, environments. If you want to get your hands on the scanner or learn more about it, feel free to reach out anytime. Uh, you can find my contact info by scanning this QR code. Email me at mac at lightaholics.com and I look forward to hearing from you. So another flash scan, gonna see how the graffiti turns out. No flash scan for Mac. No, no soup for you. <laughs>